All right, so new Make Them Suffer has come out. Um, I've actually kind of been wondering when they were going to come out with some new music because Doom Switch uh, dropped and it's been like over half a year now. Finally, we got something new and Doom Switch was such a good song. I always keep trying to call it Doom Blade like, um, like Acacia Strain. But yeah, that song is amazing. The only other two songs that I know by Make Them Suffer that I've ever heard are The First Movement and Uncharted. And I think those two songs are really good too, really gorgeous songs. But again, I haven't listened to the rest of their music. I have multiple, there's multiple albums for me to hear. So yeah, if I should do some more Make Them Suffer before this album comes out, assuming there's an album, I'm assuming it is because they've lumped these two new singles into one EP, which usually means that they're going to be singles for an upcoming album. Let me know if there's an album release date or anything. I need to follow them on Instagram. I don't think I do. If I do, um, which it is possible, I just didn't see uh, if they announced an album yet. The album art for Doom Switch, the single, is so good, but I also really love uh, Ghost of Me's album art too. I think that's sick. Kind of reminds me of like Silent Planet's recent stuff. Turn it up, baby. Ooh, it is like Silent Planet. They umped up the heaviness with Doom Switch and I'm replaying that, sorry. Oh, that's so unique. Whoa. What am I hearing? Okay, I'm gonna assume this goes into the chorus uh, with the female vocals. I'm sorry, I don't know her name. First off, this does remind me of Silent Planet, uh, like Signal, like the new song that came out. Um, they definitely kept like that kind of deathcore vocal influence throughout some parts of it. It's super choppy, super glitchy. Oh, this reminds me of something else, and I can't, I can't put my tongue on it. There was that one little part that it, everything stripped back, and it was just the guitar. That tone was so thick that was nasty. I need to get, I need to hear that again. Oh my god. Now that part kind of reminded me of Chelsea Grin. And I think the other part I was thinking of is like Era, like House of Glass, with that more like industrial electronic uh, feel mixed with Signal from Silent Planet with the choppiness, the glitchiness. Yeah. And then it comes in with this ambience, just this beautiful synth comes in. This is, this is awesome. Big change up from anything I've heard from them in the past. Chorus. That was the male uh, vocalist. That was, I believe that was the male. Yeah, that was uh, definitely not her. That was a great chorus. Really good vocals. Um, yeah, sounds like they do some ghost mean Marilyn Manson type vocal here too. Yeah.
Get that groove. Whoa. What the hell is that sound? I gotta give that a like. Wow. I hope this album comes out this year. Melodic? Oh, yeah. His vocals are reminding me of a different vocalist right now. Doing some different stuff than normal. At least from what I've heard from them. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, I bet that leads into another song. Anyway, that was a really good song. I'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times to get the uh, the structure down just because it was a, one of those really choppy songs with um, a lot of switch ups and change ups, especially early on. But yeah, I really loved that. And anything compared to Silent Planet and Era is gonna be out of this world. I hope this album does come out this year because it would probably be one of my top um, most anticipated albums uh, for this year that hasn't come out yet because their biggest album it looks like is their most recent the how to survive a funeral and i haven't heard any songs off of that and i i feel like i should check that out before any new stuff comes um comes out so maybe i can have something to reference instead of other bands yeah, here it is how to survive a funeral 2020 it only has 10 songs or only 35 minutes long yeah i could totally do a video on that definitely let me know if i should do that album i'll probably do it anyway but uh yeah let me know if i should do it down in the comment section a lot of new music is coming out so i have a lot of videos to do yeah that song mega slapped um doom switch was so good too and they're a pretty big band i'm surprised i didn't get into them earlier and really i should listen to this whole album the world's apart album because i loved the first two songs the opener songs i love them a lot i listen to them all the time from from a listener who's only heard those first two songs it seems like they're getting heavier more aggressive they're adding in those more dark distorted uh synths anyway i'm getting distracted um thanks for watching please leave a like leave a comment suggest whatever you want i'd love it if you would subscribe it would be crazy if you hit 5k soon we're really close actually we're like crazy close but yeah that's pretty much it take it easy y'all